Welcome to today's Merchant Webinar session. Today, we'll be highlighting the main sections within the Merchant interface, as well as the important aspects of your account that you should be aware of as you're starting to grow your affiliate program on the network. There are a lot of reports available to you within the Merchant interface under the Reports tab, and I'll be going over a few of the most utilized reports. The first report we'll review is the Transaction Detail Report. This report will display each transaction that tracks in your account in real time. In the top left corner of each transaction view, we'll display the date and timestamp for the transaction. The order ID associated with each transaction is tied to the order number assigned to each sale on your website. The transaction ID associated with each transaction is a share a sale specific ID and it's used for our back end reporting. We will display the sale amount associated with the transaction, which will be calculated before shipping and taxes and after any discounts have been applied. The commission associated with the transaction will be displayed to the right of the sale amount, and hovering over the commission amount will display the commission percentage. Below the commission, you'll see the share sale transaction fee, which will always be calculated as 20% based on the commission amount. The total spend is the sum of the commission amount and the transaction fee, and this is the amount that's deducted from your account balance when a sale tracks in your account. The HTTP referrer, listed under the Details tab, will display the page where the tracking pixel fired, so this should display your website URL. The IP hash associated with the customer will be displayed below the HTTP referrer, and the full pixel call that was passed to us will be displayed at the bottom of this tab. The credited affiliate will be displayed to the right of the transaction view, along with their affiliate ID. Any tags that you've assigned to the affiliate will be listed below their ID, and you can contact the affiliate or give them a bonus directly within this report. If you refund a customer on your end, you can void the appropriate transaction from within this report by clicking the Void button listed above the credited affiliates tile. Since this transaction has already been voided, the Void button will no longer be displayed. When you void a transaction, the commission and the transaction fee associated with the sale are both returned to your account balance. It's important to note that you can only void a transaction prior to its assigned lock date, which will be displayed in green under the sale amount. The next report we'll look at is the Affiliate Time Span Report. This report will display all the affiliates that have generated some level of activity for your program within the date range that you specify. This is a great report to determine which of your affiliates are currently active, as well as who your top performing affiliates are for a certain time frame. You can filter this report to view your active affiliates based on various performance metrics, including total clicks, commissions, numbers of sales, and more. We will display the top five affiliates based on the performance metric of your choosing at the top of the page, and below this figure will display all of your active affiliates within the chosen time frame. You can also click the Column Manager button to pull in additional data points if you'd like. Next, we'll look at the Year in Review Report. This is the best report to pull if you'd like to review rolled up month over month or year over year stats. This report will help you identify any monthly trends as well as compare performance metrics over time for your program. You can toggle between year over year and month over month comparisons and if you click the arrow for a given month, it will provide a comparison breakdown for your program. The last report we'll look at is the weekly pro progress report. This report will display rolled up daily stats for your program. Like the year in review report, this report will help you identify any daily performance trends for your program. These are just a few of the great reports available to you within your account, and I'd recommend checking out our full reporting suite as you're managing your account. You can set up a variety of creative assets for your program under the Creatives tab, and I'll walk through the different types of creatives and how to set them up. If you go to Creatives and click All Creatives, you can review your full creative inventory. The first tab we'll look at is the Banners tab. Banners are simply images that are clickable. When a user clicks a banner that's posted on an affiliate's website, they'll be redirected to your website where they'll hopefully make a purchase. We recommend including several different types of banners in your creative inventory. 
For example, you can include banners that display your company logo, lifestyle images, best-selling products, and more. The more banners you can provide to your affiliates, the better, because different affiliates may want different types of banners. An affiliate may even reach out to you directly and request that a certain banner be set up for them with specific dimensions to best fit their website. We do recommend that your image files for your banners do not exceed one megabyte. Both static and animated images may be used for your banners as well. To set up a banner, simply click Choose File to pull up the banner editor. First, you'll click Choose File to upload the image you'd like to use for the banner. Then you'll pop populate each field in the information box. You can assign a name and category to your banner, which will then be referenced by your affiliates. You'll enter the landing page URL associated with your website that you'd like the banner to redirect to when it's clicked, and you'll specify whether the banner is active or inactive. You can make a banner active or inactive at any time. Lastly, you'll specify whether the banner is public to all your affiliates or private to a specific affiliate. If you'd like to make a banner private to, an, to a specific affiliate, you'll simply select Private and choose which affiliate the banner is private to. When you're ready to save your banner, you'll click Add Now or Schedule Change if you'd like it to be live later. Next, we'll look at text links. Text links are simply text that's clickable, as opposed to banners which are images that are clickable. Text links and banners function the same in that an affiliate will promote a text link on their website, and when a customer clicks the link, they'll be redirected to your website. Text links are typically used by affiliates that have more copy-heavy websites and want to include a link that will seamlessly fit within their copy. Text links are also very useful in promoting a certain product or deal, as you can include a brief product description and call to action that can be used as a clickable link. You can add a text link by clicking Add Text Link, and the setup process is very similar to the banner setup we just walked through. Next, we'll talk about coupons. If you're currently promoting any coupon codes or deals on your website that you'd like your affiliates to be aware of, it's always a great idea to include them in your creative inventory. Adding or relaunching a coupon once a month is a great way to recruit and activate affiliates. All coupons are sent via RSS feed to share a sale affiliates, so it's a great way to gain some additional exposure for your program. You can add a coupon by clicking the Add Coupon button to pull up the coupon editor. Then you'll simply add all the applicable information associated with the coupon in the Information section. Once you've added all the appropriate information, you'll click Add Coupon to add it to your creative inventory. Once the coupon has been added to your creative inventory, your affiliates will be able to generate their own unique tracking links associated with that coupon from within their accounts. It's important to note that you'll need to set up and activate a coupon code on the back end of your website prior to adding it to your creative inventory. Coupon codes are not automatically applied at checkout if an affiliate's tracking link is clicked. The customer will still need to manually enter the appropriate coupon code at checkout for it to be applied. The purpose of adding a coupon to your creative inventory is simply to notify your affiliates that it's live on your website and eligible to be promoted. Merchants can set up and upload HTML creatives if they'd like. However, you will need to have experience with HTML code as our team cannot help with setting up HTML code. If you're not familiar with HTML code, I'd recommend simply uploading banners instead. You can upload videos if you'd like to showcase your products to your affiliates. If you'd like to upload a video, you'll click Add Video to pull up the video editor. Videos must be uploaded in an in an MP4 format, and they'll need to be publicly hosted on your end. If you need ShareASale to publicly host your videos, we will host up to three videos on your behalf. If this is the case, your videos must not exceed 25 megabytes. Lastly, you can click the All Creatives tab to review all your creative assets in chronological order based on their upload date. If you'd like to review your approved affiliates, you can go to the Affiliates tab and click Affiliate List. Each affiliate's ID and website will be listed in their tile, and you can click a specific affiliate to go to their affiliate info page, where you can assign them a personalized commission rate, 
view their 30-day stats for your program, and more. You'll also find each affiliate's feedback score displayed on their tile, and this score is compiled from feedback that merchants have left for the affiliate. You can click the Advanced Filters and Sorting button on the left side of the page to filter your affiliate's list view, and you can search for a specific affiliate by using the search bar at the top of the page. Lastly, you can download your affiliate list by clicking the Download Affiliate List link in the top right corner of the page to review your affiliate's email addresses, stats, and more. If you click the Pending Affiliates tab, you can review all your pending affiliate applications. You can review each pending affiliate's feedback score, bio, and website to determine whether you think they'd be a good fit. You can manually approve or decline an affiliate by clicking the check mark or the circle backslash symbol and then clicking the red update button. The last tab is the auto approval tab. Approval rules allow you to automatically approve or decline, decline applications based on certain conditions being met. For example, you can set up approval rules to automatically approve or decline applications based on the affiliate's listed country, promotional methods, feedback score, and more. Feel free to reach out to our team if you need any help setting up an approval rule for your program. As I mentioned earlier, you can download your affiliate's email address if you'd like to contact them outside of the interface. However, you can also send a newsletter to your affiliates within the interface by clicking Send Newsletter. We recommend sending a newsletter at least once a month to let your affiliates know what's going on with your store, your program, seasonal product changes, program bonuses, recently uploaded creatives, and more. When you're composing your newsletter, you'll find macros on the left-hand side of the page, which will populate the data for each individual affiliate receiving your newsletter. You will also find creative information where you can add various banners you've uploaded in your account directly to your newsletter. When you're previewing your newsletter, you can click the Send Yourself a Test button to send a test of the newsletter to the email address you have on file with your account. Any macros or affiliate links that are populating with affiliate-specific information will not populate in your test email or preview since you're not an affiliate but they will populate when the live newsletter is sent. Lastly, merchants can create manual transactions for their affiliates from within the merchant interface by clicking Manual Transaction. There are many scenarios in which it may be appropriate to create a manual transaction for an affiliate in your program, such as an order that your affiliate referred did not track in your account, you'd like to give one of your affiliates a one-time bonus commission payment, or you're participating in a paid placement with an affiliate on the network. Whatever the reason may be, creating a manual transaction is very simple. All you need to do is choose the affiliate that will receive the commission payment, specify the sale amount and commission rate, and click the Submit Transaction button to post it. As a reminder, the share sale transaction fee applies for man manual transactions as well. There are a lot of features that will help you manage attribution, support your recruitment efforts, and more under the Tools section in your account. I'll be going through a couple of the most utilized features in this session. First, we'll look at the Recruitment tool. This tool will help you browse affiliates on the network and invite those that you think match your program the best. Using crowdsourced intelligence, we have tagged and categorized thousands of affiliates by type and vertical so you can easily discover and target the most valuable partners for your business. You're allowed unlimited invitations through this tool, and you can set up and include an incentive if you'd like to provide affiliates with a bonus commission if they accept your invitation. You can also set up an invite template if you'd like to save and use the same copy or template for all your invitations. When you're setting up your invite template, we recommend including information about your company, your affiliate program, and highlighting the reasons that you think the, pr the prospective affiliate would be a good fit for your program. Lastly, you can click the Show Tutorial link in the top right corner of the page to pull up a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use this tool. Next, we'll look at the Commission Rules feature. 
Commission rules are a great way to test out different attribution models for your affiliates. You can set up commission rules to apply a custom commission rate when certain conditions are met for a transaction. If you click the Add Predefined Rule button, we provide examples of commonly used commission rules. As you'll see, you can set up commission rules to assign a custom rate based on how long an affiliate has been approved to your program, based on an affiliate's performance metrics, and much more. If you'd like to use one of our predefined rules, you can simply click the rule to apply it to your account. You'll want to be sure to click the orange Save button at the bottom of the page as well. You can also click the Add Custom Rule button to set up your own commission rule from scratch. If you click Add Condition, you can review the wide variety of conditions you can apply to a given commission rule. Feel free to reach out to our team if you need any help setting up commission rules for your program. You can control several aspects of your affiliate program under the My Account tab, and I'll be going through the main sections that you should be aware of in your account. We'll start by going to the Account Details page. At the top of this page, you'll see your program's name, merchant ID, and the category your program is listed under. In the top right corner, you can also view and edit your program's default commission rate and tracking gap. Lastly, you can view your affiliate recruitment URL by clicking the full link displayed in your account. And this is the link you can send to prospects that you're in direct contact with to onboard them on your network. You can set up additional logins on this page if you'd like to give your teammates access to your account. You can manage specific email notifications for your program, and you can adjust your auto approval settings for your affiliate applications. Lastly, you can update your main contact information at any time on this page, as well as set up additional emails for your teammates to receive notifications related to your account. Next, if you click the Affiliate Communications tab, you can view and manage the various aspects of your account that are showcased to affiliates. Your program bio is the main piece that's showcased to prospect affiliates when they're reviewing your program. So this is a great opportunity to make a great first impression on what your program and brand has to offer. Your program bio should include information about your company, your affiliate program. You can highlight popular products and include contact information so prospective affiliates can reach out if they have any questions. You can also create your program bio using HTML code. However, you will need to have experience with HTML to do so. Your affiliate agreement is your legally binding agreement with your affiliates. Any program restrictions or rules that are enforced will need to be added here. Without an agreement in place, your program, technically and legally speaking, has no restrictions. We highly recommend speaking with your legal team to set up your affiliate agreement, as our team cannot assist in the creation of your agreement. However, a few common topics to include are trademark regulations, grounds of termination, PPC bidding rules, and coupons and deals policies. Search keywords are used by affiliates to find new merchant programs, so be sure to fill out this section with keywords that relate to your program or product. You can add up to 255 characters worth of keywords, terms, and phrases. So the more keywords you include for your program, the more visibility and exposure your program will receive. Your keywords must be listed in a comma-separated format, and we recommend leaving out the spaces after each comma to maximize your available characters. Lastly, your email responders are automated emails that are sent to prospective affiliates throughout the application process. Affiliates will receive your automated email responders when they apply for your program and when they're approved or declined. Email responders are your first point of contact to new affiliates, so your approval email should include usable links to tools and sales data like bestsellers, demographics, and more. The next tab is the Commission Portal. The Commission Portal contains the Commission Hierarchy, which outlines all the ways you can modify the commission that your affiliates are eligible to receive. Each commission setting runs with its own priority in the Commission Hierarchy. 
The most important aspect of the commission hierarchy is that each commission setting overrides all the commission settings above it. The standard view outlines the most common commission settings. However, you can expand the view within your account to, re to review the full commission hierarchy. Feel free to reach out to our team if you have any specific questions related to the commission hierarchy. The last tab is the Deposit Center tab. This is where you'll be able to review your current account balance and your deposit history. Your most recent deposits will be displayed on this page with their respective transaction IDs, deposit amount, and downloadable invoices and receipts. You can also click View All to review all previous deposits. You can make a manual deposit at any time under the Make a Deposit section. Simply enter the deposit amount, which must be at least $50, and a payment method to make a deposit. You can make a manual deposit via credit card, e-check, or PayPal. You can also enable the auto deposit feature if you'd like to automatically deposit funds in your account when your account balance drops below a certain amount. We highly recommend utilizing the auto deposit feature as a safeguard so your account does not drop below $0 and go offline. As a reminder, when your account balance drop drops below $0, your program will go offline, meaning your affiliate links will become inactive and your program will not be visible to affiliates. If you'd like to utilize the auto deposit feature, you'll need to deposit funds via credit card or e-check, as PayPal is not supported for this feature. You can turn this feature on or off at any time. Thank you for taking the time to watch our merchant webinar. We hope this information will help you continue to set up and optimize your account on the network. If you have any additional questions about the tools or features available within your account, please don't hesitate to submit a ticket by going to the Help Center. You can access the Help Center on the left side of the home page or by clicking Help in the top right corner of your account. You can also browse our Help Center to find a ton of valuable information for setting up and optimizing your account on the network. The Partner Discovery section offers a diverse range of affiliate, influencer, technology, agency, and other partnership opportunities to scale and drive performance for your affiliate program. Key resources like our Publisher Catalogs, Publisher Requirement Guide, Influencer Platform Partners, Technology Partners, and more can be found in this section. The Merchant Program Support section contains articles highlighting affiliate recruitment, reporting, creatives, and much more. Check out this page to review various walkthroughs and insights for growing and managing your affiliate program on the network. Lastly, the Resources and Guides section hosts helpful step-by-step -step guides, including our new Merchant Welcome Kit, Interactive Merchant Account Overview, our Merchant One-Pager, and more. We highly recommend reviewing these resources as you're setting up and navigating your account to make sure your program is set up for success. Thanks again for watching and we hope these tips are helpful as you grow your program on the network.